Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to project raster data like this one into a specific CRS or coordinate reference system. So the first things first, you need to load your raster layer, which is here on my left, N21 East 102. So you need to project. So there are two methods. You can always first search here projection. Always you can click on this reproject layer or this one warp reproject. Or another method is by going to raster, projections, then warp reproject. So for my case, I'll click this one, warp reproject. The input layer automatically is being selected because there is only one layer which is here. But if there are various layers, you need to select that specific layer. Source CRS. Source CRS, this is the source coordinate reference system. The coordinate reference system which comes with the DEM. So I can show you again. So if you want to know the coordinate reference system, which is the base one, you can go to properties information need to look at the crs here it is epsd 4326 wjz4 so this is the one existing the geodetic system so that means going back now to here projections warp project that means the source crs i'll choose this one because this is the one which comes with the file and the target crs the crs which i want it to be which i want to reproject in utm so if you can click on this option but sometimes you can find there is no any other options which are available here, you can click on this like a world button, then scroll to this. So predefined, this is which your predefined one, and the custom, the one which is already there. I mean, like customize. So predefined is the one which is already defined, and custom is the one which you customize. So I'll go for the predefined, then you can search because I know specifically where this is, it's 48 North WJCTM. So I'll search this. So upon clicking, because I know where DEM this is available, it's somewhere in Laos, so I know it's supposed to fall somewhere here. So if I'm comfortable with everything, I'll just select it. Then I'll go back to my parameters. It is selected here. Then resampling method to use nearest neighbor, but you can go for others, but I'll keep it default. No data value. If there's no data values, you can just save all those data value, put zero here, but I'll leave it default. Output file resolution, you can choose the resolution. Then all this is gonna live by default. Then reprojected, that layer will be saved in a temporary layer. So for my case, I'll just leave it. But if you want to browse to where it is, you can always click on this. So I'll push the run button. So upon pushing the run button, it will run. And the log here, this is where you put your parameters in the log. It will show you the process completed successfully within 1.54 seconds, depending on your computer. So upon closing, I have two layers now. The one reprojected. So the previous one, let us cross-check, which has the information, CRS, which is WJS84 for the and the reprojected one, you can always click on these properties. Then it has the WGS84 UTMs on 48 North. So this is it. So I'll turn this off, give it some visual colors. Let's just play, let us play around with it. Can get this one here. Can invert the color ramp. Apply. So this is it. So this is the new reprojected. So thank you for watching and listening. Make sure you subscribe. For more videos like this, thank you a lot.